with the new update, you're now able to have better control over your responsive screen. So now you can actually visualize each of your layouts uh, just to simplify your coding and also your design. Browser, so you'll see this is our widescreen. This is our desktop. We also have our CSS styles for our hover. And we have our mobile view with our responsive navigation menu. Hi, and welcome to Export Kit. In today's example, we're going to demonstrate some of the new features of our June 2020 update. And a lot of these features have been highly requested by users. And you'll see here that what happens is that we're now able to separate our responsive screens into individual artboards. So if we look at our artboard, you can now have a base design and the name of the artboard will be very important. Now, after your base design, what we recommend is that you start in essence at the largest screen design and work your way down. Uh, but you must have your base design at the very bottom. But what it also requires, rather than any custom folder name, is that you must use the name of the original design. And this is very important, or the original artboard, I should say. And what this will do is reflect this screen to this artboard. So this gives us all our individual screen designs and we can now manage them independently. But we must maintain a layer order where the base design is at the bottom and then we're working our way down in screens. Now, if we had additional artboards for pages, uh, we would just basically follow this structure for each artboard going forward. One of the other new features is a new global artboard, which what this will do is replace your pasteboard. So rather than adding your CSS styles, and you can note them here, and also uh, your code tag or your raw tag within your pasteboards, you can now actually add this directly within a global artboard for better organization and control. Now, another rule for all artboards is that your global must be at the top. So if you just happen to have your global anywhere else, you must move your global to the top to ensure uh, its rendering process. And this is very important, especially in HTML, simply because a lot of things have to be rendered in a particular order. We also have a new raw tag. Raw, what it will do is actually output the content directly as is. So that being said, let's just export this as is. Now, when exporting, what we want to make sure, because we're using responsive, is that we want to ensure that we have dynamic selected. And this is a new feature. What this will do is measure the contents of each artboard and generate a size based on the content. So this will help, uh, in essence, when you have various sizes for your responsive screens. And we always want to make sure we have nothing selected, simply because we want all artboards exported at once. And we can just drag this into our browser. So you'll see this is our widescreen. This is our desktop. We also have our CSS styles for our hover. And we have our mobile view with our responsive navigation menu.